The Albanese government's goal of building 1.2 million homes in the next five years was dealt a further blow today as home building approvals dived 1.9% in February. The total number approved was just over 12,500. In the past year, 162,750 dwellings have been approved. That's about 80,000 short of the government's target. It follows a 2.5% drop in January. Disturbingly, approvals for residential unit blocks plunged 25%. The stats follow grim news on the building sector from ASIC earlier this week. The number of construction companies entering administration in the year to March jumped by more than 30%. Well, today I caught up with Brickworks 25-year CEO Lindsay Partridge, who retires on July 31 this year. He says today's numbers make the government's plan even tougher. No, he's got no chance. It was a great aspiration. I commend them for putting it out there. You know, and I think some of the state governments are having a bit of a go, and there's some good discussion happening here in New South Wales about it. But, you know, we're, we're what, 18 months into it, and there's, you know, the approvals are out today. Have a guess what? Every state by Western Australia, they're all down. They're a long way short. So they're a long way short of where they need to be, but then you make the bricks that build those homes. Mm. So therefore, you actually want them to meet that target because that means it's a company like Brickworks makes more bricks. A absolutely, absolutely. And we're you know, taking a lot of our plants off and doing maintenance you know, in this period to get them ready because you know, we think we're going to have a very busy period. But at the moment, you know, that's now drifting in because of the approval process I mentioned. You know, if the house gets, someone buys a house today, you know, they're not going to be on site until sometime next year.